Are you ready for some goat snacks? <clears throat> Are you ready for some goat snacks? <laughs> I just got home from work and Wendy let me know that Marigold, one of our rabbits, got out. She probably got out sometime during the night. She hasn't gone far. She's been right down there in the bushes, real close to her cage. I'm gonna try and get her out. Wendy didn't wanna try and catch Marigold by herself because it's it's kind of a difficult job for one person, especially when she's in these little tight bushes. It's hard to, hard to get in there and move fast enough to catch the rabbit. Here goes nothing. Marigold, it's okay. It's okay, bunny. It's okay, bunny. It's okay. Settle down. Settle down. Yeah. It's okay. Come here. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. That was easier than I thought. Safe and sound. Yes. Big adventure's over. Just a good safety tip. When you're handling rabbits, Wear a jacket and gloves so you don't get scratched. You might have noticed the sprinkler going behind our rabbit cages. Wendy wanted to make sure Marigold had access to water while I was at work. The plants and trees back there probably needed a good soaking anyways. We feed our goats around 6.30 in the evening. They know when it's time to be fed, and they are not shy about letting us know that they are ready for dinner. I'll give them special treats at different times of the day, but the main feeding is just once a day. Yesterday, I remembered too late that we had run out of hay for our bucks. Wilco, the place we've been getting our hay recently. Stop. No. No. Wilco, the place we've been getting our hay recently, was already closed, so there was nothing that I could do. We did have some alfalfa hay, but we saved that for our does. So these guys had to go without. We gave them a little extra grain. I went out and pulled some weeds for them. I clipped back some some tree branches for them to nibble on. So they weren't, 
They weren't completely without food. Snacks. <clears throat> Are you ready for some goat snacks? good on these branches. Earlier today, I did make a run and pick up their hay. I gave them a little bit of it, not quite as much as normal. Hopefully that won't put them too off schedule for their regular feeding time. It's interesting, usually when we give these guys their hay and their grain, they're just all over it and they devour it right away. Now that I've given them just a little bit, they seem to be just nibbling a little bit on it, not really tearing it to pieces like they usually do. If there had been a helping of grain, our goats would have torn it to pieces. I'm about to make another run to Wilco. We might as well get fully stocked while I'm at it today. 
One of my favorite things about Wilco is the fact that they can recycle those feed bags. It's really nice not to just have to throw those things away. Another thing I really like about Wilco is they're less than 10 minutes away. You just pay for the hay inside or you can do that part online. Then you go through the covered loading bay and they'll load the hay up for you. Don't do that. Are you goats still hungry? Are you goats still hungry? You still have hay there. How can you still be hungry? Huh? You too blue? Okay. Oh, I know, I know. Bury my goats in the hay. Our goats are a little spoiled, but those big goofy cutie pies deserve it. Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing out here, please click the thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe.